Hey everyone, welcome to Commander Clash. This week we are building decks around our favorite games outside of Magic. This could be a board game, this could be a video game, it could be any type of game. So let's start off with Seth. What game did you build around? Uh, so I built around the game Worms Armageddon, which is one of my all-time favorite party games. It's just such a fun game to play. If you've never played Worms Armageddon, I think it's on Steam. Check it out. It's really fun. So I'm partly built around the name of the game. I mean, it kind of builds itself, Worms Armageddon's. So I do have that going on. But if you ever played Worms Armageddon, there's a lot of unique weapons and weird things happening. So I have a lot of cards that are specifically just to be on flavor with various uh, weapons and parts of the game where Marmageddon as well. Excellent. Well, all of us are a little bit scared about the <laughs> Armageddon part, but we'll see how it yep. pans out. <laughs> okay, Tom, what game did you build around? So, if you've ever played the game Werewolf, or if you ever played the game, uh, I, I learned it as Mafia at a summer camp when I was like 10, uh, but the basic I, premise of the game is that uh, people are assigned random roles, and in the morning, the town villagers get together, try and figure out which one of them is a member of the Mafia, and they hang them. And then at night, the Mafia comes out, and they try and make sure that they win the game by getting rid of all the townspeople. The townspeople try and get rid of all the Mafia by, well, hanging them. Uh, it's a pretty... It's a very fun game, especially in social situations, although it doesn't sound like it is at all. Uh, but it's... An, honestly, it's a blast. And there's an online version of that game called Town of Salem, uh, which is really cool. You can play for free online, or I think there's like a version on Steam you can buy. Either way, uh, it's a game that I used to play with a former uh, Magic streamer named uh, The Boykes, which was just an, so much fun. So uh, I thought I'd build a deck around that, kind of built around the Mafia mechanic, and then a couple of the different roles you could be assigned in the game itself, which are really fun and off the wall. So uh, I'm excited to play it out, and uh, the Commander is... Queen Marchesa, uh, because one of the roles is that you can be what's called the mayor, and you get, like, mm. plus three votes, and it basically means, like, you have the whole deciding power in the game for a while, until you get killed by the Mafia. So, <laughs> uh, I thought it was a really good way to do it. Yeah, that sounds really fitting. I am not too familiar with the game. I played it a long time ago, so it'll be cool to get some refreshers on uh, the various roles and, and game mechanics, so that's cool. All right, Jennifer, what game did you pick? So I chose chess. I went for like an old classic. You know, everyone knows how chess works. Um, and I was able to find cards for each of the pieces that you would have on your, t on your uh, whatever, on your side for chess. And I actually almost used Queen Marchesa, so I'm kind of glad I didn't. Mm -hmm. Though I think the decks would have been quite different. Um, I don't know, it's... It's cool. Hopefully we'll get to see some of the key pieces that you would find in a chess game. And yeah, I'm going to do my best. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this week in general. It just seems like there's a lot of opportunities to be creative here. So I'm excited to see what you guys bring. And this is Tomer. I picked the video game Street Fighter to build a deck around. So we're, I tried to jam in <laughs> most of the original cast of characters from Street Fighter, um, and then a lot of references to signature moves and just certain game mechanics. So uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And in my starting hand, definitely showcases some of the, the mechanics right off the bat. Mm, I get to go first, hurrah! You're welcome, like always. <laughs> well, see, it's fitting not that I'm not going first because I'm obviously playing black, not white. So in chess, black always goes second. Oh, uh, play. good chess oh. reference right off the bat. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I get to mulligan this hand right away. That's fun. Well, <laughs> I I can show you a card that. I doubt we'll do anything this game, but it's very flavorful. So I'm I'm excited about the jankiness level of this really poor hand. I'm going to keep it. Going to keep it. All right, I'm pretty stoked. I've got pretty good opening hand, so we're going to keep this one here. Uh, I'm still following Tom. I assume once Tom keeps his hand, then I'll be able to keep mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Lance, I'm in. 
All right, me too. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. We, got, we got a game. <laughs> All right. Hello and good luck, boys and girls. All right, let's start it off with a great land. Temple Plenty. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this to the top. Alrighty, so we're going to start with my tap land. Gave me a life. Um, yeah, we'll tap land too. I will continue the trend and also play a tap land. <laughs> Is it a try land? Ooh, the best land. Ooh. Nice. All right, well, here's probably the most useless card in my deck, but <laughs> I had to run it. Eyes of the Wizent. <laughs> Now, there's a reason for this what? really terrible card to be in my hand, in my deck. So, I was looking for a card to represent M. Bison. So, obviously, the first thing I want to do was find a uh, Bison in MTG. Unfortunately, there are no Bison cards. The closest thing is its ancestor, the Aurochs. But I actually found out that the European Bison is also known as a Wizent. Since Eyes of the Wizen, it's actually Eyes of the Bison. So this is my, my oh Bison my card. <laughs> Tomer went so deep, we're going to need to pull him out somehow. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> but Jennifer, uh, if, you, if you counter my stuff, watch out. I get a 4-4 creature token. Only if I, yeah, I guess. Because <laughs> that would be your turn. Sounds good. You're the only blue player. <laughs> You're blue. I know, but I'm not an opponent. You're my only, the only blue opponent. Tomer Wisdom, honest words of wisdom, you're not your own opponent. That's good. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> oh, wow, I have a legacy staple in hand. This is fun. Uh... Lightning it's not bolt? A... No. <laughs> it's a... Uh... We'll get into it later. Um, yeah, let's just run this. It's actually the only reason why Queen Marchesa was put onto Magic the Gathering Online. Oh. oh a mana card. Oh, yeah, Palace palace Guard, Palace Jailer, or something mm. like that. Yep. Sense. Give the mana cookie. Right. God, Life Crafters Bestiary is so good. You guys are the best! I can tap for all five colors with my Felwar Stone! Thanks, guys! You're welcome. No, no, <laughs> no problem. Let's put some propaganda out. Uh, so effective. So what chess piece is that? It's not. It's just good <laughs> in my deck. Uh, my deck is like half chess and half good stuff. So... In Worms Armageddon, one weapon they use a lot is a uh, is a a mine, and they stick on the battlefield. And once someone steps on them, they blow up. There's not too many mines in Magic, so the best I could come up with was oh my goodness, what is was this? Time Bomb. I got so time close counter. to running Time Bomb as well. <laughs> Sacrifice Time Bomb deals damage equals the number. Of wow, <laughs> it's like the world's slowest wrath. It's like a it's like a earthquake that takes about seven or eight turns to do anything. <laughs> Still though, quite effective yeah. against smaller creatures, I guess. The turret. <laughs> it's on flavor. And that art. That art. What's going on there? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty crazy art. It, it grinds my gears, the, literally. The, Beginning of magic was a weird time and place for uh, for artwork. <laughs> like a it's skeleton not, and yeah. balloon it's hand. It's not even Foglio artwork. Uh, I hopefully can do better than this card. I think like maybe okay. the skeleton is really trying to show off its ability to play basketball, so it's breaking out oh. of the stadium and he's about to jam on some fools. Oh. oh, did you ever watch uh, watch Space Jam? The epic dunk by Jordan. To yeah, yeah it kind of looks like that pose. That's yeah, like it does. Like the, Space Jam a little bit. The wheels are stretching him. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
Mm. I remember hearing a story from Rosewater about like how they found a lot of old magic art was they would just go by and buy up people's random paintings to put on cards. <laughs> like and I have a feeling sales. that's what happened here. <laughs> yeah, Mero was down at a, a salvo and happened to see this for 50 cents and now it's a magic card. <laughs> morph! A morph card. And a sanctuary. We'll play Reliquary Tower. Oh, I'm trying to decide if I want to play this now or later. Now is probably best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, what the heck are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> right? All right. Or, if it's a blue spell, cast it on my turn. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I think I'll go with no on that one. So I get to put one in my hand, the rest on bottom. And pass. Uh, I guess we'll keep killing ourselves slowly with this mana vault. Nice. But the time bomb's sticking up. Yeah, one more turn and you can kill my morph creature. Yeah? You just wait. Sooner or later. Uh, so we're just going to draw some cards. No worm justification. Just want to draw cards. Fair. That's super fair. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Playing a lot of lands there for uh, an Armageddon deck. Well, I'm also a worm stack, and worms start at like seven mana. <laughs> That's true. It's kind of kind of an awkward uh, an awkward fit. <laughs> Ew. Ugh. Monarch has arrived. Oh, I need to. Yes, we know who to attack. Well, death touch. What is Tomer's morph? Oh, you'll see. Teamer Charger. <laughs> right for some reason i don't think you're gonna have a great amount of creatures so i'm gonna get rid of incite rebellion which is basically what happens when someone in the game just forces everybody to turn their whole entire focus on one person and they get voted out in the beginning of the game it's fun huh. but also like the best way to get yourself killed so this game can you do you have to have people to play with or can you just yeah. play against random people oh that how to say online. Like, online, you can just play against randos. Okay. Uh, but, like, usually it's better you can create your own rooms and you can just, like, invite a bunch of people in. And that's obviously a lot more fun to play with friends. Hmm. Just ruin relationships left and right. <laughs> See, that does not sound like fun. It kind of sounds fun. <laughs> Ruining relationships left and right. <laughs> just get them, just, just ruin them. It's, it's a blast. Depends on who the relationship is with. Hmm. Pass. <sighs> For now. That's a lot of mana up. It is. Are you going to uh, fireball me or something? I mean, that would be thematic for my deck. Are you, you are in red, right? Well, yeah. That's I needed red for the Hadouken. Are you... <laughs> Are you going to edit in music and the, and the voiceovers? <laughs> Every single time I bring in a, a, a cast member, a character? Yeah. Maybe. You just gave it a good idea. <laughs> Can you just say a new challenger appears whenever anything happens? Anytime anyone plays any card, you have to say that, including lands. I don't think that YouTube would appreciate yeah. that kind of thing. A new challenge yeah, here. <laughs> oh, man, this uh, time keeps going. Yeah. It's getting there. Yeah. Wait, this comes into play tapped. One, two. Uh, hmm. All right. I guess we just. Man, Cross and Verge is so good. I guess we untap. So Time Bomb is one tap and sack to yeah. blow up on everyone. 
Well, yep. not not blow up everyone. It's just per well, damage. all creatures and right players, now. right? Yeah. Two damage to all creatures yeah. or players right now. It's getting so. there. Oh, 40 turns from now, y'all are in trouble. <laughs> it's really good at preventing us from playing creatures that we otherwise would. I mean, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I haven't been avoiding playing creatures. I'll just put that out there. Uh, we'll just store up some mana for the winter and uh, pass the turn. I haven't played any Worms or Armageddons. I'm kind of disappointed in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I haven't played any chess pieces yet. We'll maybe get there. Ooh. Nice. So there's a roll in uh, the Town of Salem game uh, where you get to copy the roll of someone that has already died. So... I don't get to copy dead things in Mirage Mirror, but I get to copy living things. I also get to hit Seth for three. Ooh. I got a time bomb, Tom. It's I gonna know. Be on three. It's going to be on three next turn, just so it you is. know. I understand. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's okay. I'm just going to draw some more cards. It's fine. Oh, I want that monarchy so I much. love being the monarch. <laughs> My worms it's are not, too expensive. It's, it's good to be queen. It is. Well, it's good to be mayor in this situation. But yeah, it's good to be the queen. Okay. I could just play. I just could have been Duke Nukem. It's more fun. Morph card revealed. Oh, Radiclaw! Oh! Oh! oh man, what are you doing with all that mana? It's... That you have to like get into your pool. You and Cyclonic Rift already, wouldn't you? I think that would be a waste at this point. No, but I'm introducing another Street Fighter character. Again, this oh. is loose, and I had to take uh, some liberties so it would fit the deck. But there's one character who has a claw. Oh. <laughs> there's one character who has a claw in the game, Vega. <laughs> and so I was searching for a clawed um, character. And sure enough, Surak Dragon Claw fits my deck perfectly. And he does have a claw. So, there you go. <laughs> I would like to scry. Why'd you um, leave mana up, Tom? Oh, uh, yeah. M mirror, I uh, assume. okay. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'm going with mirror here. <laughs> I don't really need this. Uh, don't really need this either, but okay. Um, yeah, I think it's time. Time to bring out Zangief. <laughs> yes, I gotta see this. Oh, you, you've already seen him. Uh oh. Boom. Uh Zangief from the command zone. <laughs> he looks like he's, he he wrestles. I, I think he's got the mustache down. He's got the <laughs> chest. Wait, is your argument that he looks like he wrestles? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. How does he? Uh, how does he herd these these big cattle things? I'm sure he wrestles them down. If we stretch this any further, Tomer, it's gonna break. Okay, if if you try to find Zangief as a character, he is definitely <laughs> the closest you're going to find. Uh... It is a little bit hard with Street Fighter characters. I almost did Hearthstone. All creatures and sorceries. Oh, that would have been hilarious. I always have to do that too, but I couldn't think of a way to do it. Yeah. That's so much smarter. Shoot. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want that crown. All right, Tomer, if you do this, you're going to incredibly regret it. That's okay. Why? Because okay. yeah. he has a mirror and mana up for it. Yep. <laughs> but then you lose your mirror. Yeah. I mean, your choice. I mean, my game is all about voting, after all. You give me so the crown, saying... or, or you lose the mirror. I mean, <laughs> you're saying I'm part of the mafia here. Welcome to the darkness. Oh. <laughs> uh, darkness. That's fine. 
Does every color have a fog if you go back far enough? I don't think red I, has a fog. I don't think blue has one. Blue has fog bank. That's true. That's fog that, in the name. That's yeah. literally a fog. It does a also that thing. That creature is kind of a fog from Commander 2017. The portal portal mage? That's mm-hmm. fog ish. Kind of. Redirect. Yeah. Don't really prevent damage, just sends it elsewhere. Alright, here we go. Not bad. So let's see if I can not screw this up. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Are we getting Guambo comboed? Hopefully. Really? <laughs> yeah, so uh, in chess, you only have to kill their king. It's a combo thing. Like, you only have to kill the one main piece. So I only have to do one thing. I can prepare to kill you all at once. Oh, so this is like checkmate. Hopefully. But the idea. it hasn't happened yet? Well, we're not dead yet. Yeah. Not yet. Oh. I mean, if... Is this like pauper combos? Like mnemonic <laughs> wall and, <laughs> and flickers? Or whatever, ghostly flickers? If you have to uh, navigate uh, win the game right now, yeah. Well, I don't have an answer. Still need so Does anyone game. have an answer to infinite mana? No. Do you have, do you have anything to do with infinite mana? Una, yeah. my queen, the commander. strongest piece on my oh, chessboard. And you exile yeah. one's library. Yeah, I think you got us. Yeah! yeah. Uh, Alright. Well, huh. good game. I had answers <laughs> if I didn't tap the radical eclipse stick and I had another extra mana source. I also had this. Tomer, Tomer, Tomer. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, that's... you may destroy my propaganda. That's acceptable. Uh, time bomb is just... <laughs> Too slow. One more right. turn. One I had to, turn. I either had to go for it this turn and no one have an answer, or I had to wait until time bomb blew up. So I was really nervous that you have an answer to it, but I had to go now. That makes sense. Well, I don't really want to make Jen go through this because it sounds like it would take forever. It will take <laughs> it'll take forever. I was playing it on stream and they made me do it. It took like a half an hour to kill one person. But uh, I promise it works. So I cast the queen of my chessboard. Yeah. And I make. I kill you all and make infinite pawns. Yep. That's it a good work. chess justification. Well. And I we swear try? I have all the other chess pieces. So we can try another game and maybe we'll see them. <laughs> you want to run, run it back since uh, that one was, was so quick? Yeah, I think it was short. That was really fast. Another one. Okay, round all right. two. This is an interesting opening hand. I actually like my hand. It has, it doesn't have um, any like strong cards, but it has like support cards that I, I really want to showcase. So I'm keeping it. Yeah, I got one land again. No, have a good hand. Yeah, I mulligan my first one because I have a land as well. I'm keeping a two lander. I just need to draw a single land, and I should be able to hopefully. Continue okay. from there. Y'all are not allowed to mulligan until we quit because I actually have one of my chess pieces here. And this hand is not going to just annihilate you guys. So <laughs> I'm keeping it to show off the other parts of my deck. Oh, no, I'm, I'm keeping my hand. I okay. have a way to draw out of this, hopefully. <sighs> I'm in the Tom position. I have two lands. If I draw one land, you don't get to scry at seven cards, right? You got to go to six. No, you can't. Mm. I mean, right, if you, gonna... are you going to be able to cast your commander on three? Because then you'll be good for mana. No. Oh, you already went to six. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's okay. If you got to go to five, uh... got to go to five. All right. Is it okay? I'll... It's relative. If I get to my commander, it'll be okay. It's all right. Uh, like starting turn three, everyone's just going to be drawing and discarding an extra card every turn. I've got your back, Seth. All right, thanks, Tom. No problem. I feel like you're a good influence on the group, and I would make sure that you wouldn't be voted for public execution. So. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, thanks. Well, I drew like that anyway. means that leaves Praise. one of us, Tomer. I well, no. That. In a four-person game, actually, you can't do four-person mafia, but if you're saying you're part of the mafia, then we should vote you out really quickly. 
So in Worms Armageddon, if uh, oh, one of the ways one of the ways you kill people, the easiest way actually, is to knock them off the land and into the water. And one of the most effective weapons at doing this is actually the longbow. Because it knocks people out, knocks worms a really long ways compared to other weapons. So I have the Viridian longbow. I'm so happy. I'm going to learn so much more about how to appropriately play worms than I thought I was going to. <laughs> so, okay, I have a question for you, Seth. Is yes. it worms with an O or worms with a U? Uh, it is with an O. Oh, well, that's so much more lame. Yeah. Okay. That's not super cool version of worms. All right. I mean... Because Worms of the U is terrifying. Oh, yeah, no, these are the, the small, cute, and cuddly worms. <laughs> I mean, those are one of my favorite animals, so I'm totally down with cute and cuddly worms, but... <laughs> I've never thought of worms as particularly cuddly, personally. <laughs> <laughs> nor, nor cute, but hey. To each their I think, own. I think the ones <laughs> in the video games are. They have, like, the high-pitched voice and, like, the chipmunky voices and the big eyes and... They're sad when they die. <laughs> One of the best parts of Worms, actually, is for some reason, there's like 80 different voices you can choose. You can make your own team of Worms, and some of them are just absolutely absurd and ridiculous. Uh, I'll discard one of my air strikes. Oh, discard. Uh... I don't mind this at all. Aw, strike? What? Another Worms weapon, you use air strikes, and awe strike was as close as I could get to an air strike. Wow. It's uh, like a one, one creature fog. All right, well, I was mostly, I was mostly excited about entangling trap, because I, I have one mechanic that seemed to be really fitting for a fighting style game, um, is clash, because it's like a different way of, of saying fight. Ah, cute. I like it. And I'm failing at tapping for mana. All right, let's do this perfectly. Okay, and I'll just edit that part out. Teamer Ascendancy. <laughs> Taste with upside. So you're playing all your enchantments now that I discarded Swan Song. I see how it is. <laughs> Ooh. Commander time. It's going to be a lot of extra drawing, which I'm not not opposed to. All my black mana. Nothing yet. Is the queen back? Queen's back. Yes. I am so stealing that crown. She never left. Well, I guess she did leave, but uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not going to get technical about it. <laughs> um... Also, the most flavorful card in this deck might be Survive the Night, uh, because the whole entire point of the game is trying to survive the night. So it's, I was really glad to find it. And you get to investigate, which is even better, as far as a mechanic for this, uh, for this parody of another game. Because you want to investigate to find out what roles people have. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Sounds swell. Zangief is back. He's going for that crown. He's going to wrestle you for it. <laughs> uh, he looks like he wrestles. Um, well, I too would like the crown. If I take the crown, will you promise not to attack me back, everyone, for one turn? <laughs> what? Why? Uh, then I won't do the thing I was going to do that's bad for you, but I can't tell you what it is. I thought you were going to make us draw a card, everybody. Yeah, but now I only you draw a card. Thing. This is much worse. Yay! Attacking for the crowd. <laughs> I love the monarch mechanic. See, these cards really confuse me when you say I'm an Armageddon deck. <laughs> you would think you would invest in, like, mana rocks. It's in the name! Worms Armageddon. <laughs> Those would be, where's, where's Kodama's reach in the name? Uh, that's just to, to have land so I can blow them up. Oh, okay. Don't don't worry. I have a plan. Ooh, see that's that's a good Armageddon card. I should have that in my deck. Yeah, but I don't. I have Kadama's <laughs> Kadama's Reach and an explosive vegetation in hand. 
Although Moto saved me. Apparently Sky Shout's claim is like three tickets, so I don't have that one. Alright, that card's getting expensive. It's not even that good, but okay. Well if you have if you have dual land forests, then it's just like a better explosive vegetation. Manifest uh, get... comes to play untapped. Oh, alright, I guess that's true. I'm used to playing budget and like a two forest, whatever. <laughs> Untapped is really good, though. Getting that token. Don't attack me, Tom. What are the odds that Tom doesn't attack for the crown? I'm going to guess you know, none. You like know zero? Well. Yeah, why yeah. would I not attack you here? I have a white mana up. Uh -oh. I know. You can get rid of my... You can path the exile my assassin if you'd like. Wait, who is the monarch? Uh, right now, then, it's Seth. Seth Curran. Okay, because it's still sitting on your field, so uh, it's coming back my way, right <laughs> now. <laughs> there it is. Hey, it's welcome back. Out, yeah. Well, it, even if I did, then Tomer would just steal it, so I don't really gain anything. It's pretty much how it goes with the monarch. Although, Freddy and Longbow, that's a good way to stop assassin tokens. True story. I like don't want to discard lands because I know what your deck does. This is really annoying. <laughs> um, all right, we'll get rid of one land. Cassis, going for the crown. You know it. <laughs> I really love how Monarch changes the play pattern of a game. Commander should just start with a... Someone should randomly start... Whoever wins the die roll should start with with the crown. Choose which... Uh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. One of, the, uh, one of the roles can choose how someone else votes, which is kind of fun. So that's what this card's like. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm not attacking the crown. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Probably not. Who are you attacking? Uh, I don't get to choose who he attacks, I don't think. Uh, oh, I do. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or else a card. All right. There terrible. we go. You're going to go that way. Hey. This makes the most <laughs> Just because I won last time? Gosh. On turn uh, six. Yeah, it's going to yeah. go this way. It's not my fault. <laughs> I know. This is grudges against Tom, not you. Yay. <laughs> and it's not a full fledged grudge yet. It's just like. A mark on my abacus. Abacuses are back. Is this Welcome what's happening back. now? <laughs> I don't know. I should, oh my I god, the abacuses are back. My my official NTG Goldfish abacus brand. It's it <laughs> comes with extra spite counters. <laughs> oh, four mana! Wow, got like the full four. Yeah, that's that's a good uh, a good deal. What, did Wait, what happened? Reveal? I totally uh, so missed something. Tapped. Everybody reels the top card of the library, and, and Seth gets a green for each non-land card revealed. Rich card's yeah. expertise. That's All a right. really good card. Um, dig through time. Very good card. Honorable passage. What? What is with that art? The next time a source of your choice. Would... Okay. Okay. <laughs> We'll just keep getting more right. lands for... I'm really the... sure Seth doesn't have an Armageddon in hand, because there's no way he keeps doing this. Right? <laughs> like, right? Uh, Maybe you never... I feel like Armageddon's just a good big ploy at this point. Like, there's no way. He can't be like, <laughs> okay, ramp, 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 <laughs> and now I Armageddon. Perfect. Zero cards in hand. Zero lands in, 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 in the battlefield. I'm great. I Maybe I don't even have Armageddon in my deck. I feel like you don't. That's my that's my guess. Yeah. All right. So here is one of my rooks. I was excited to see how you were gonna do rooks. Fort. Oh. Very nice. It kind of looks like a rook. Yeah. Well, and a rook is like it's a building that there are archers and stuff in, right? And it moves along. Oh. So it's a, it's a, a fort that moves. That makes sense. I was pretty proud of that one. 
That is a good awesome. one. Gets plus three, negative one. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it actually can get super huge if you have a lot of mana. Okay. This is much better later if I'm trying to combo, but I just kind of wanted to play my Oblivion Sower. Yeah, no. no Which problem. is really beautiful with Una, because then I get all of your lands when I kill somebody. Oh. Yeah. All right, so who combo. has the most lands on top of their library? <laughs> mm. I, I honestly, I don't think anybody can answer that. <laughs> Probably Tomer, I think. I don't have any. Uh, let's go. Well, Tomer's got blue, <laughs> and I'm a little light on blue, so I'm going to go with Tomer. Well, you got two. Oh, Leon. No. Oh. oh, my good cards. <laughs> Did I? Rona has eight. Oh. Man. That's, that's I'm a little times. bit sorry. Remember that week you played Burning Vengeance and it got milled on turn one? Oh, yes. that was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Really enjoyed that. That was great. What are the odds? I totally didn't build my deck around that card or anything. Uh, Let's try that one. All right, good luck getting through my walls over here, guys. Oh, well... I was going to do something productive, but now I'm not. This is way too much more fun. <laughs> All right. Now let's pull it is. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> let's all get together and figure out how the rest of this game should go, huh? Oh, Cast Lord. The player. What? <laughs> oh. I don't even know. Each player exiles the top three cards of their library. Whenever a player casts a spell from her their hand... They exile it. If the player does, they may cast another non-land card exiled with knowledge pool without paying that card's mana cost. Yeah, so basically, whenever you cast a spell, you get to pick any spell out from under knowledge pool and play that, and your spell goes under knowledge pool for the next person. Oh. So does you basically, the, the yeah, you resolve? can... Like the Your spell you does not resolve, no, what but the you spell cast from under resolve? knowledge pool does. Mm-hmm. And I can choose any, but it's only three? Oh. There's 12 you total. Can any of the spells that are exiled yeah. right now run with knowledge pool. Okay. Which you have the white. No, you. So uh, you interesting. Can see, you don't even you have can... to pay the white colors for that. That's insane. That's so, you so can much fun. Play, you, you can play a brainstorm and cast Azuri's Perdition. Like, that's basically where we're at right at the moment. Or an yeah. Elder Scale Worm or I whatever. I'll say, well, I'll get yeah. the Aura of Silence and just stop it. Why, though? <laughs> That's probably not a horrible choice, either. Fine. Are there any chess pieces in your deck? <laughs> hmm. Alright, let's... Let's see what cards I get first. Use ability? Yeah. Okay. At least since Tom's... Oh, he is in white. Are you playing the locks? Like, uh... Well, he has rule the of and stuff. I like, don't think. Or, I, oh, ah, I am. Whoops! <laughs> I just realized it myself. Yeah, so, I am. That's I'm playing rule of law. So that's if, a bad idea. If a rule of law comes down, <laughs> then none of us can ever resolve a spell Including for the rest myself. of the game. If you have curse of exhaustion, then that it's only your opponent. Sounds fun. It's yeah. Totally also, it's something I forgot you could do. <laughs> oh, it's that so would be fun. A stalemate. <laughs> All yeah, the horses I, on the board are gone, and off. only are two kings left. All right, so I can just cast this, whatever spell I cast does not resolve. Yes, and also you can still cast stuff like your commanders through this. Just a heads up, because it's only stuff in your hand, and also flashback cards still work. So the game isn't ruined; it's just a lot more fun now. <laughs> <laughs> fun. So um, speak. Speaking of knowledge pool locks, a uh, bit of trivia. Maybe we'll give a prize to the winner. Like, I played Chrono Savant a long time ago, like two years ago, and the plan was to lock everyone out of the game. What was the finisher? There is a ultra janky, super bulk rare that is the perfect finisher if you are locking everyone out of ever casting spells. It is a white rare from Time Spiral. 
Uh, I'll I'll give you I'll give you the answer because it's so sweet. It's a Chrono Savant. If you're not familiar with it, it's a five five for six. You can return it from your graveyard to play tapped for one and a white, but you have to skip your next turn. So the idea was Ooh. lock everyone out of the game. It. You discard it to hand size. Who cares if you skip your next turn because no one can cast anything on their turns anyway, and then you just beat down with your Chrono Savant. That's funny. That's yeah, I love it. It was pretty fun. Um, so I'll cast my captivating. Are you gonna kill that or no? Uh, yeah. Are we yeah, in the I weird think... sub sub game uh, where? I think that's that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> just gonna. I was just figuring what card I don't want to use. Way to be an an awful person. Oh, I'm not the one casting knowledge pool. <laughs> yeah. I made the game a lot more interesting and fun. You're welcome. Increased. You, you got to cast like an eight mana spell for two mana. You're also welcome. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry that you had fun. No. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> um. So the only one who really got anything good out of that was Tomer. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah, I and liked it. That was great. <laughs> they all have haste. Um. Hmm. Can anyone deal with team or ascendancy? Any Not takers? Not right now. What's wrong with team mm. or ascendancy? Nothing. Uh huh. That's what I thought. Uh. There we go. I should have waited till after you declared attacks to mention that. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think I just caused myself some damage. You did. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So the one with double strike is attacking Seth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's. So I can block. Mm -hmm. Wait, why did it die? It already took damage from my predation. Dun dun dun. Aww. <laughs> uh, Dang. Sort of throw out. Yeah. I would have totally taken four damage. Guess we'll get rid of little dragon claw. And Shouldn't have attacked me, Tomer. I have I had my Chun Li card, but I'm gonna throw it out because it's not anything important right now. Flying crane kick technique, also <laughs> known as spinning bird kick. <laughs> oh <gosh>. yes. <laughs> uh, what else do I toss? Um, I don't need this. Kaboom! Another clash card. Can anyone kill Bruce Tarl? <laughs> Take wow. second question. Okay. I don't have enough white to do either of those things. Uh, so I have an a steward command. And I'm trying to figure out if I should do... If you blow up my enchantments, I will be so upset. If I should do enchantments and small creatures? I or can probably deal do... with all creatures. Oh. If I have to. If you deal with all my enchantments, I'm just going to be swinging at you with all the creatures I play from now on. Well, how are you going to swing? They don't have haste anymore. Or is Sylvan <laughs> Library to find them? Uh, hmm... I think you should get rid of enchantments. All right, so you, you do what you want. It's just, uh, where's my abacus? Um, uh, one second. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, so we'll do enchantments and... Oh, no, no. What are the options? It's either Bruce Taro and Mobile 4 or the token and Rattleclaw Mystic. No, is, isn't there four choices? So it's enchantments. Oh, artifact, enchantments, creatures... Converted mana cost three or less, or creatures four or greater converted mana cost. It's not cast all steer command, and I don't have to attack you. <laughs> I'm not going to do artifacts because I need my Tamio's journal. So it's enchantments, and I don't know what creatures to kill. Is the question. What about what about don't blow up my enchantments, and and we'll be friends, and I won't attack you. I think uh, you should blow up his enchantments. Yeah, I think I have to. It's too scary. It's it's a little scary with the haste. And plus, you just attacked me. 
That's the main reason. It's a spike. I know, because you were saying you wanted to blow up the team for ascendancy. <laughs> All right, whatever. We'll do it this oh, way. Oh, man. Bye-bye, my rook. Bye-bye, all my sweet enchantments. So, now we can be friends, Tomer. We're even. It, you attacked how's that me. even? You attacked me. I blew up your board. Now we're fair. I attacked you because you said you're going <laughs> to blow up my board. <laughs> <laughs> I think you declared the attack a little bit before that, though. Oh, I was watching closely. You know, let's dig through time. Uh, sad. Now Jen's probably going to just combo off and kill everyone. <laughs> actually, yeah, we probably should just kill Jen because of what she did last game, actually. <laughs> I'm I wasn't pointing really that out. I was really confused by Tomer's attack. I don't know why it hit me. I played Knowledge Pool instead of good cards. I wanted to get the Monarch. Uh, I'm specifically monarch, yeah. taking yeah. my chess pieces instead of my auto win the game pieces for you right now that sounds exactly like someone who's getting combo pieces to win next turn what they would say <laughs> when they cast dig through time we also don't have a lot of interaction <laughs> to stop her at instant speed okay so should i get my combo pieces i could do that <laughs> i was trying to be nice for reals <laughs> i can't tell you what to do jennifer it's up to you but i am leaving mana up so be warned <laughs> So is that lapse of certainty. Um, gotcha. <laughs> if if you play wrongly, I'll manatize the <laughs> crap out of your combo. <laughs> I actually got people a fit, so it's it's a legitimate threat. Oh man, it's it's, it's got to be like the best feeling in Magic to manatize yeah. someone. Nobody's it's it's like, so oh, amazing. He has one white up, I, I better not <laughs> combo off. Yeah, so good. I don't know which way to go, you guys. Combo pieces or chess pieces? Are the chess pieces cool? Like, Kinda. flavorful and... I mean, I kind well, of have to attack you now, because you did win pretty, pretty quickly last game, and you could just randomly win any turn now. So. I assume that if you get the combo pieces, you'll probably become the arch enemy pretty fast. But the but problem if is, if she gets the combo play... pieces, she just wins, and there's no there's no window of opportunity for arch enemy. That's true. Well, yeah, but if you play more mobile walls, you're probably less likely to get attacked. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to. I so I got one of my knights. Ooh, chess pieces. It's the Order of Yogmas. Hmm. That player discards. Ooh, okay. Yeah. That's like so a. So I can make y'all discard cards so you're less likely to be able to interact with my combo that I win with. This is the idea behind it, at least. That makes sense. I didn't and know that was a knight. Indeed. Alright, and then. Oh, I can't do that. So I guess. I'll drop my Grand Architect. Is that a combo Another, piece or a chess piece? That is a combo piece. Okay. But I didn't. I did not tutor for it. It it gives you infinite mana with one other card. Oh, do you have like Pilly Pella? I was gonna say yeah. Pilly Pella, right? Yeah. That's a <laughs> I hey, look, no one has a maximum hand size anymore. Yay! Oh. oh damage. Uh, I like not having a maximum hand size. Yeah, you are you have clues, so that's good. You can draw cards with impunity. Yeah. <laughs> that is punishing. Ouch. So someone in my chat today thought or was like take putting a bet that one of you guys would be playing Clue, like the board game. So oh, you could play a Clue deck. That sounds like Tomer. Yeah. Oh, Tomer yeah. loves his Clue decks. <laughs> I feel like I, I felt like a little bit too easy to do because I did it twice already the Clue deck. <laughs> All right. I wanted to branch out a little bit. I was also going to play D and D as my first first suggestion, but then I would have just ran like a original Zendikar block deck and. Again, seemed too easy. 
Yeah, I also considered D and D, and kind of let that one go. I <laughs> I asked my stream for ideas, and my favorite one, I think, there was lots of good ones, but someone said sorry, and you would just play like humilities and blood moons and cards that made all of you sorry that you were playing commander with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds appropriate. That's fun. <laughs> play lands. Yeah, one of the first games I wanted to do was Resident Evil 4, actually, which was one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, but then I started kind of building it, and I realized it was just a zombie deck. And I was like, oh, this is not that interesting. So I went a completely different way with it. And I'm kind of happy about it. Let's do this. Yeah. So Street Fighter oh. has fight in the name. Obviously, this is a fight oh. deck. I, I had Clash. I show you the Clash mechanic. This is the fight mechanic, I think. Pretty, pretty appropriate. And since you just <laughs> mentioned you have a combo piece, uh, I think I have to get rid of that. That's fair. Uh, we'll just start sacking some clues. Um, attack. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, worms. I haven't cast a worm in any of these games yet. No, well, that's not a worm, but I am okay with casting this. Nice. It's a lot of mana. It is. And then, (laughs) so back to worm lessons. If you are playing Worms and your enemies hide underground, the way you get to them is use a mole bomb, which digs down and blows up on your opponents. So we have the Graph Mole, which is our mole bomb. Just for a monarch remembrance, uh, Tomer is currently the monarch. Oh. oh thanks. Yeah, the monarch doesn't before do a good you, job of moving. Yeah, before you randomly attack me and expect to be the monarch, it will not work. It is Tomer right now. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Lots of menas. I just called blue. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, this didn't work out quite right, though. Because I don't get to leave one of my lands up. Ugh. Ah, I see. Cards in hand, three, seven, six. All right, making someone discard a card hurts Seth the most. So we're going to attack Seth. That's you don't want to be the think. monarch? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, see, I don't really want to be the monarch. I oh. get an extra card. But I also get everyone attacking me. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. I probably won't be the monarch by the time I get an extra card. So, nah. I'm going to make Seth discard card. Uh, um. Hmm. What do we discard? I, this geez. Card. I guess we got to discard the Loxodon Warhammer. So, what? Base, okay, I'm really glad I made you discard. Yeah, I guess it's close to a baseball bat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard one. There's no baseball bats in Magic. Loxodon Warhammer. I have a couple other ones. It looks kind of baseball batty. You use it the same way, I assume, or similarly. So I'll give you it. I'll give you it. All right. All right. <laughs> I'll take a point. Also, I just noticed that the beast token art is really messed up. Like, they accidentally zoomed in on the artwork. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is super weird. Yeah, it's way zoomed in. Mm-hmm. I can't even tell what that is. Probably have to open up a little ticket, give them a heads up. 
I will not fix that one. I'm <laughs> no. not sure if yet. <laughs> These tokens from a commander card from the treasure chest is on the top of their priority Are list. Are you saying Azuri's Predation doesn't show up in tournament play? I would be <laughs> shocked. Oh, man. I'm so sad we don't get to play the new commander cards for Infinity. Ah, oh, Tom. Good choice. It's like the strongest card on the battlefield. Don't worry, I'm just going to give everyone a new hand anyways. It's really Gen You're all welcome. Oh, no! dear. Oh. My Peregrine Drake! That's oh, a lot of... I'm very glad I cast this card then. My other <laughs> Clash support. That's a lot <laughs> of damages. Support. Tom. You're very welcome. Alright. Alright. We're going we're gonna die to knowledge, uh, price wow. of knowledge. She had Peregrine Drake and Decree of Pain. Jesus. Yeah. Good, yeah, oh, good thing those are gone. gone. Oh, I'm really glad Wish Cards is gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you hit a lot of good stuff. With yeah. Oh, wow. Soul. There goes Little Rage Beast, too. Okay. I feel good about that. That was my fight list, <laughs> which was gonna be the major payoff because Street Fighter fighting. And then I had the other payoff card for Clash Rebellion of the Flamekin. Oh, I'm sad. All right, um, let us, who's the monarch? I'm the monarch? Okay, that's good. <laughs> I really think it should move to each person's battlefield, because, like, I'm in control of one of your islands right now, and it says owned by you. So you could have the monarch token and just be owned by Tom. So... I, I tried to find a good card that fits for Dalzim, and Dalzim's main thing, other than he can levitate, he can teleport, he has stretchy arms, he can also breathe fire, Yoga Flame. Avatar Fury has fire breathing. Kaboom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you went really deep on your justifications, and I, I appreciate that. I went super that. deep. <laughs> <laughs> How long did it take you to build this deck i'm actually curious uh i did a last minute so i can oh uh, okay oh it's that's not really bad. not optimized it is not optimized at all but you know i crammed just a lot of ideas and i just try to cut 20 cards randomly um what do we do here so i don't actually have a lot of counters in this deck i only have two i think and you already saw one of them um Actually, I think both of them are in my graveyard. Broken Ambitions. Yeah, yeah, both of them are in the graveyard. However, this card could not have been cut anyway. I ran it purely for the name alone. Guile? The character Guile? <laughs> <laughs> uh, on point. Does it have, like, the sweet haircut or anything? But, you know. Um, let us attack. All right, all done. Oh boy! All right, what do we do? Oh, so much damage! Come on, good draw. All I right, mean, let's... you can gain that life back with the clues, right? Yeah, I guess yeah, I sort of can. Graph more. Well, let's start by parlaying. Parlay. Parlay. One mana. You hit a land. I hit a land. Who didn't hit a land? Mobile I hit Raven board. Inspector. So that you can inspect your opponents and figure out if they're Shouldn't mafia. you two lands? Because we, you hit... Raven Inspector, Mobile Fort, and then land land. So you should have two, right? Nah, that's a regular no. zone, yo. Uh, I got uh, choked Estuary. Uh, uh, I was looking at the wrong tab. Good call. Wait, do I die next turn? Yes, the answer is. So we can't do that. Why are you dead next turn? I mean, I'm going to be exhuming Cataclysmic Gear Hope next turn. So that's my goal. Oh, that's a, a good goal. Yeah. Tomer has a bunch of 6-6s, six and one of them can't be blocked as if by three creatures, and the other one flies. It's a thing. Well, so, I mean, I can do this, but then we don't... What happens? Hmm. Hmm. My hmm. Is, though. I kind of want to do this just to prove that I can. But then I think Tom wins. 
Yeah, I mean, we huh? don't need to try to take out Tom or Tomer. How is Tom going to win? Yeah. Aren't yeah, I going to lose there. all but one of my creatures? I think I'm going to be kind of behind at that point. Want me to show you? <laughs> I guess. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I I'd can't. vote against giving Tom the win. What is this? I'm down for this. I'm down to clown, as the cool kids say. Anaclysmic I don't think they say that. No, they don't? I don't think so. Although, to be fair, I was never a cool kid, so I guess I don't know for sure. Alright, we'll just... We'll just wait. We'll just draw cards. Oh, shoot. So it's going to draw cards. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is you don't have to discard any of them due to price and knowledge. Yeah, I don't know if that's actually good news. <laughs> Not really. Oh, man. That changes things. No, it doesn't. All right. Um, I guess we'll just uh, play land. More land to Armageddon. Great. Pa pass the turn. Cataclysm killer, huh? So I'm going to be left with one creature. As my yep. state. That's not good. I think I need the Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, actually. I'm almost dead, you guys. I know, that price of knowledge is brutal. It's so bad. Well, I can't destroy it, so... So one of the mechanics in Town of Salem is that whenever someone dies, they leave a last will. So when you play the game, you like write a little like text document, and then when you die, everyone can read it. And usually what ends up happening is it screws up the entire game, which is hilarious. That's like, you'll be like, you'll be like, I was actually a villager. And then it was like, the mafia would say that. And you're like, oh, I'm actually the mafia. And everyone's like, a villager would say that. And it just throws a huge wrench into everything. So that's basically what price of knowledge is here. Also, Jen's lands are going to tap for a lot of mana. Oh, yeah. Lots of mana. Well, wait. No, they're not, are they? Are they? Is there an Urborg or something? No. Well, you don't have a lot of... There's not many lands with the same name. Yeah, or swamps. I did reveal a swamp from my hand with my choked uh, estuary. Uh, okay. But it's not, it's not going to be an insane amount of mana. I mean, it's still a lot. But not as much as it sometimes is. Mm -hmm. Alright, so this is... Okay, so does Cage Sun work when I... If I were to use my Vivid Marsh to make blue? Uh, whenever I the Billy adds one or more mana chosen... Yeah, I yeah. believe so, yeah. Okay. It should. It should. And then if not, I'm not sure that I want to, to right now. Um, untap it anyway, like re undo. I'm just going to ramp to, like, everywhere. Ugh. Told you I was going to ramp to everywhere. Jeez. That's a lot of ramping. I almost <laughs> seemed like a one, one with nothing. Well, I guess I don't feel that bad now. Ooh. All right, what do I want to go get? You that really is a get super flavorful anything. card. Oh, yeah, it's the lands. Yes, Beseech the Queen. Uh. Very flavorful for chess. You navigate your pieces so that you get to just, like, nab her without her realizing it was coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so now that I have a ton of tiny cards. Oh, are you going to do the mass untap? No, unfortunately not. All right, so now we're going to... That doesn't untap during my untap step, so I don't want to tap out. That's lame. All right. Uh, make me discard a card, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I need to get in under this price of knowledge somehow. We can work together. Oh, thank you. Uh, we'll discard <laughs> a tap land. I feel less bad about that gear hulk now. 
here. So now I have all the mana and not infinite mana and nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. <sighs> oh, what? Yeah, I didn't want to mention this, and I knew that's why Tomer wasn't mentioning it either. Gear Hulk is each player chooses an artifact creature and a champ and a planeswalker and sacrifices the rest. Oh, uh, boy. So what, what oh, happens wait. here? Oh, wait, and sacrifices the rest? I thought it was sacrifices one of each of them. Oh. Oh, that's, that's kind of, really sucks, you know, then. Yeah, that's <laughs> why I'm, I'm losing my board state, too. Uh, hmm. I guess we... Oh, Tom doesn't lose anything. No, he, he he's good. Do I... Oh, this price of knowledge. Well, Rage Beast gets to kill something. I know, I'm just trying to consider what I kill. Um, I have to kill that. When in doubt, kill Peregrine Drake. That's a good rule of thumb. It, it depends if Jennifer's going to go off at instant speed or not. Oh, okay. Probably not. I don't think so. That's why I didn't kill it. It was, also, oh, we'll it was basically that or the Glenelendra Archmage because then that removes um, one counter potential. Wait. Oh. Hmm. Alright. We will gain some life, draw some cards. Draw some cards to lose some life. Well, see, he gains three and loses one, so it's yeah. worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. I have so many lands that I'll never get out of my hand, though. Yeah, I've only got one non-land per permanent, so that made us real easy. It's a good one, though. Alright, so I get to choose an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker, and I keep them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That sucks, dude. Yep. <laughs> I'm losing <laughs> a lot as well. Have you seen all my artifacts? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, that's I painful. saw them as you were casting them. I was like, well... <laughs> Ugh. Like, Gear Hulk's doing some work. So... An artifact. I guess I'll keep my monolith. Enchantment. This is my only one. Wait, I didn't select it? Okay. Creature. Did you try to kill my Peregrine Drake? Mm, no, he no. killed okay. my Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Okay. I left it alone. Like a mean uh. face. <laughs> I can read my cards again? Uh, I guess it's just time to tap out. What if you need to regen? All right. No one's going to kill my commander. Yeah, nobody would be that petty, especially with an enter the battlefield fight mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't do it, Tomer. We're friends. Yeah. I remember <laughs> how friendly you were when you destroyed all my enchantments. Ah, oh, Tomer. Uh, what is well, this? Oh, okay. Anyway. Well, and I guess I wasn't going to regenerate through that, so... <laughs> Well, that guy's a rage beast. <laughs> Joke's on you, Tomer. <laughs> Remember how I said I was going to kill the Peregrine Drake? Well, guess not. You missed my persist? I really need to draw enchantment removal, or I'm dead in, like, two turns. Oh, no, this thing happened again, where my land goes behind the Monarch token... <laughs> and I have to resize my entire battlefield to be able to get back the land that's behind a monarch token. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most annoying thing in MTG. <laughs> is that I have to continually resize MTGO to get access to this planes that's behind this monarch token. Because now everything I did is a lot worse. And this is very annoying. <laughs> monarch token, why? <laughs> oh, oh, no, it went away. I found it for a moment. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 
Ah! Plane! Oh. <laughs> this is the worst! Okay. Uh, Literally, I'm just sitting here we... pulling the corner of the MDGO interface to. Ch oh, found it! Got it! Yeah, <laughs> yeah good job, me. Uh, so Cast an Oracle's Bolt. Pass. Ooh. Well, as long as no Paradox Engine. That doesn't feel like a Tom card. What, Oracle's Vault or Paradox Engine? Paradox Engine. Oh, God, yes. No, remember that, when you time-stretched? I do, yeah. I remember yeah. when you time-stretched. In the <laughs> older than modern? Yeah, I, I remember that. To be able to do the jankiest combo ever? Yeah. Because how else are you going to do that? This is true. Taking damage. Um, Vizier of the Menagerie. Ooh. There's no Street Fighter justification. It's just a, a card. Card advantage. I have lots of creatures. All right. Um, the Menagerie of different fighters to choose from. I was going to keep it. Ah, I like it. I'm going to roll it. Thank you. <laughs> 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 Who's Monarch? Am I Monarch? I don't even remember. I think, I think it's Tom. Tom, did you take Monarch? No, it's still you, Tomer. Oh, okay, just good. kidding. Okay, also, good. if you can go Paragon Drake, this would be the time. Uh, I was going to with my Full Razor, but, you know. Or Gruel Rage Beast. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yup. Oh, take 11. <laughs> At least I'm down to three cards. That's helpful. Oh, we just gotta I'm get empty-handed. Nobody, nobody has tried to deal with the price yet. I wish I could. Price of knowledge. I wish I could. Oh, man. You could also go just... aggro, but, you know. It's a worm. Whoa. You finally played a worm. Okay. Whenever it attacks. This is yeah. Really Not bad. Gain back a bit of life. More lanes to Armageddon later. Sweet. And we'll pass the turn. That's a pretty insane board lock, kind of, with the Yavimaya Hollow. Yeah, it is pretty good there. Also, uh, Armageddon. Uh, it's a combo. Uh-oh. What did you yeah, reveal? We're, we're of, invention. of invention. Uh, Does that mean we're dead? Hopefully. I'm not sure if I have enough mana. I haven't counted. But yeah, in theory. Do you have interaction, Tomer? I do. I was hoping oh, to not have to use it right now, but should I use it right now? Uh, Why hmm. would you use it right now? I don't know if you got to use it right now. Generally, has two cards in hand, right? And yeah, I guess you can probably just do it in response to the whir for all of her mana. I don't know. Yeah, she... we'll see what happens. She could just like rip a something. No, wait, she's just drawing whir. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no reason. I had to m see if I can remember how to do this. Alright, so we're in Food Invention. One, two, three, four, five, six. E? X should be three. Paradox Engine? Nope. Uh huh. Oh, I did not check my graveyard at Exile Zone. Okay, I think I'm good. We need to go get Rings of Bright Hearth. Oh. Now, I believe that's a infinite combo with Basalt Monolith. Yeah, I don't have an answer to that. <laughs> so. Sad? How do I do this infinite combo, though? Like, I have to copy the untapped thing of Basalt Monolith, 
then I can tap it and untap it again. I actually I don't start think over. you win here. Because you, you don't have enough colored mana. mana to, you don't have enough colored mana to cast Una. You're right. I do not. Because you have to pay. No, I need, I need four do... colored mana. No, you. No, never mind. I'm, I lied. I think you just do it with Basalt Moth on its own. You tap Basalt for three, untap it with the three. Then the trigger for rings goes on the stack. You pay three, pay the trigger for rings, have one floating. But how do you have no? infinite how do you get colorless mana? How do you get enough uh, enough colored mana? Yeah. Yeah, I need four colored mana, and I only have access to three. Oh, yeah, you need four colored mana. So, yeah, never mind. So we might get one more turn? Yeah, y'all yeah. get another turn. All right. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Do you cast Una here? I'm not sure how this works for you. No, I don't want to cast Una so that she doesn't cost more later. Okay. I guess the infinite mana doesn't matter. Yeah, it's more the colored mana, but... I'm excited for this Nova Blast for him to attack then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that doesn't really solve the combo, yeah, though. I don't, I don't have an answer to the artifacts in hand. Yeah, so with that Nova Blast room, there's no reason for me to cast Una. Yeah, I mean... Because I can't knock go... anyone out. That's true. Is my graveyard so, decent? Pa Ooh, not pass the turn. Let's attack somebody. Since we're flying, anyway. Highest life is Tomer. This is true. You don't have reach, do you? Okay. I don't have removal? I do have... Reach, I said. No. Oh. Like, you couldn't block my Peregrine Drake. I knew Vizier the Menagerie didn't fly, but I didn't know if it had reach. Because it could have snakes and spiders and stuff in his Menagerie. Yeah, you never know with those green creatures. Lots of okay. sneaky, sneaky reachers. It's a sneaky snake. I mean, <laughs> could pop out a bow, bow and arrow. Oh, wait, I'm the monarch now. You're not the monarch! Whoops. I wasn't going for the monarch. But to be fair, I was probably attacking you anyway. Yeah, that's so. fine. And then you're prob. Oh, you're not dead to price of knowledge. No. I have one card in hand. So you could draw another one with. Uh, well, now you have two. Well, I'm going to have You have to draw from the monarch. Slowly but surely. I mean, I think you're dead, though. Right? Me? Yeah. I probably. I shouldn't have attacked. That was really dumb. There's at least 10 damage on the board. Yeah. Oh, I, I should have left my dude up to block. Time for a witch hunt. Huh. <laughs> I cannot afford that. <laughs> what? Oh, no. We're going to do a witch hunt. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's Maybe exactly it's, what it sounds like it is. I still don't have an answer to that. Maybe it's bugged and just stays with Tom. That would be sweet. That would be hilarious. <laughs> All these enchantments. Man, I really need to leave my Drake up to block. I'm going to lose because of that. That makes me mad. Oops, Raven Inspector. What is this? I'm just getting a clue. It's kind of half the point of the game, Town of Salem, is to get clues to figure out who's a bad guy and who's a good guy. And it's even an inspector. It's literally the perfect card for this game. <laughs> oh, not me, not me. Please, not me. <laughs> me, of course. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Jen, so, so <laughs> dead. Extra dead. Um... Jeez, this is interesting. Okay, so I take a bunch of damage. So now I would have been dead even if I had blocked the 7-7. Seven, seven. That's true. Two cards in hand, three from Vizier, four Actually, from Wishunt. you couldn't have blocked it anyway because it destroys everything when it attacks, so... Oh, So yeah. I don't think that was really a mistake on your part. Okay, then I don't feel so bad. Okay. Less mad now. Hmm. Not sure what to do. Do I have any decent answers in my graveyard? No. Mm, YouTube's gonna be mad. I think the enchantments are problem one. I I don't have an answer to them, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, hmm. Let me, I guess, do this. Okay. So 
interesting ramp. Find an answer, Seth. Oh, I get to scry? Yep. <laughs> oh, hmm. Jeez. Ah. That card either finds an answer or surely kills me. <laughs> Sounds uh, <good. laughs> It's a greater good. So I can draw seven, but if I whiff, I 100% die, because I'll have a have million answers? cards in hand. Do you have answers? I don't think you're going to be I living do. much longer is a thing. Yep. I do... I do have a bit of enchantment removal. Like, I have at least a couple, two or three enchantment removal spells in my deck. So I could draw one. It's probably worth it for you, I would say. Are you going to let me draw seven? You're not just going to kill my worm? Why would I kill your worm? I don't know. Out of spite from earlier with the enchantment thing? That would be something I would do, wouldn't it? <laughs> it is possible, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. you got to be careful there. <laughs> Let me put that bottom. Oh, okay. I think that's something I want to do now. I will say, don't don't forget to make sure Jen actually dies here. Yeah, that's true. Don't get too caught up in this. <laughs> Let's Disagree. Get that part <laughs> out of the way. Green, 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 green. So I'm hitting for three. You're hitting for seven. Oh, that works. I'm getting rid that... of the witch hunt, by the way. The witch okay. hunt? I was going to say, yeah, the uh... price of knowledge kind of lets you kill Seth. Hmm. I'm give the I'm price of knowledge means good. I'm not dead. I do appreciate that. I'm attacking that. you for three. And then it's up to Seth if he wants to uh, finish it. Well, I, probably, I probably gotta kill Jen, because I know you kill me next turn. And yeah, I, I win if I get a turn. Literally and, wins the game next turn. Yeah, and I you already won straight once. up win. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you make me play it out and then I time out, which would be super lame-o. Attacking? It could be like the gotcha moment of uh, removal. That would be very, very sweet. That's true. Ooh, and you get the crown. I got the crown. <laughs> well, I have Flash Worm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you wiping the board, though? Yeah, I just gotta get cards out of my hand. Oh, yeah. I think that's the most important thing here. And I can sack it with greater good for more digging before that. I just have to find an answer to... Pro oh, and I take one from my mana vault. That's actually really bad. should be happy you don't have a mana crypt out. I mean, the price of knowledge is high. It is very high. Oh, well, we can't do that. Yep, get a clue. Well, come on, greater good. Oh, yeah, you're going to be drawing 15, uh, 12 cards. That's a lot, but I have That's to, if I don't hit enchantment removal, it's all for naught. Then I'm even more dead to price of knowledge. Alright. Well, greater good first. Just remember, don't sacrifice the worm yet. The big one. Yeah, I gotta, I know, I know. I'll kill Jen. No, you don't have to kill me. <laughs> Sacrifice just, the token. I just presented lethal on the board. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's worms, but they don't help me. Well, we gotta discard land, so... Land... 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 All right, attack Jen. Sorry, Jen. It's okay. <laughs> you killed us last game, so I, I can't feel too bad. I, honestly, I almost got y'all again. 
Yeah. I needed one more colored mana source, and y'all were dead. Yeah. Out of nowhere. So I feel pretty good about this week. Yeah, it is pretty good. It was a good run. All right, good game, guys. Good game, good game. Oh. All right, well, let's do it. Come on, deck. <laughs> Looked at 12 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have. We did not find enchantment removal. Wow. We have nine cards. We have 17 cards in hand. That's a hmm. lot of cards in hand. Oh, man. Pretty unfortunate. How to not die. <laughs> Is it possible? Or do we just ruin the game and then die? That's option B. Aww. Always <laughs> an option. Uh, Alright, well, I think we get rid of that. Get rid of land get rid of land so we're down to 14 cards we're at 9 I guess in theory we can live another turn really? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cards? no, just one, one card 14 cards I think we just barely live if nothing goes wrong <laughs> <laughs> they also oh. have like a I win the game moment right now. Palaka Worm. And then we talked about mines earlier. Important to Worms Armageddon. Oh my god. Counter it. <laughs> and in theory, we barely survive. How many enchantment removal spells do I have? Maybe it's just like one. Okay. Ugh. Are you going to kill me, Tom? Oh, gosh, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I think it'd be silly not to try to kill you. Need a lot of, <laughs> you need a lot of instants right now. <laughs> <laughs> or just uh, a, a couple times. Yeah, it's just a yeah. Knowing knowing Seth, he has at least a Panharmonicon plus like Ghostly Flicker plus something else. I don't know if I have any cards that save me here. Let's do something fun. Here's a fun card that's not broken at all. That makes me think it is broken, Tomer. No. Oh, oh my god. Wee. Oh my goodness. I'm using it for value right now, which is a 10 minute investment. Sure. So, how does this fit in with um, Street Fighter, real quick? I'll tell you. <laughs> it actually fits with the Clash theme. Oh, it's the anybody... Clash theme. Yeah. Okay. There's a. I think it's Seth expensive, knows. so you win the Clash. Huh? Because <laughs> it's so expensive, no, you always actually, win the Clash. It, it combos off uh, with a Clash card. And I actually Street know Fighter what it is, yeah. Is a, the the idea of Street Fighter is chaining together combos, so it actually fits really well. I'm actually very happy about it. That actually that is a good justification. It's, the the clash yeah. card is something with ants. I forget the name. Release the release, release the ants, ants. exactly. Like, so you get to cast it over and over again with omniscience. So let me. Clash. Oh wait, do you do you get all the lands out of your deck? No, I do it the super janky way. <laughs> oh. Bottom that. <laughs> well, I guess we bottom that. All right. I pr appreciate this crying. Cast. Uh, I guess you could just kill Tom before my I turn. can't really. I don't have any creatures that are good at attacking right now. <laughs> oh. Um, cast. Oh. Looks familiar. Do I try to just parlay at this point? I can't cast my commander. That would have helped a lot. Boom. All right, that's not good. Uh, More cards in hand. Okay. I think that's all I can do. 
That was a pretty strong omniscience, wasn't it? <laughs> not bad. Not the worst. Yeah, not as scary as it usually is. I have seen worse omniscience. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I was it was a ten mana try and try and do something cute, but yeah, my hand's not not very good. You um, got some value. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. All right. Here's hoping this actually works. Otherwise, I'm very sure I'm just dead. Come on, deck. Desperation time. I think there's exactly one card that can save me. And you should be able to find it, because you're getting another clue. Oh. You're right. Never mind. Ah, <laughs> at that border. <laughs> oh. I can't. Hmm. We do get to sack our worm. Casual draw eight. Yeah. That's a good way to find an instant speed removal. I didn't... Oh, I see. It's still on the stack. I was like, I didn't draw cards. Oh my goodness. You're at 38 cards. Now you're going to go even further down. 31 cards? Alright, so we didn't find it yet. So we discard... Oh god... Uh, okay, I, I'll discard some of my flavor cards. Rustbor Ram, uh, also Lieutenant Kitar, and I guess just Rampic Growth. So Rustbor Ram, Sheep, one of the weapons in Worms Armageddon. <laughs> Lieutenant Kitar, you send pigeons to blow people up, so, um, I guess we Desperation Sack a clue. Not an answer. Please. Come on! Not an answer. We could cycle secluded steep. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh, another land. Oh, I think that's it. Wow. I have a million worms. Double checking. No way to draw cards. All right, well, if we're dying. One last bite out the door. What's this? Yep. Oh, it's my magma mine. I don't understand. I get to put a pressure counter on it. Are you going to kill my tracker? No, I'm just going to do one to Tom's face. Oh. <laughs> That's fair. All right, send the message. <laughs> uh, good game. Good game. Come up, in. That was the card I needed. I never saw a price of knowledge do that much work. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this game's going to end very quickly. With some, like, crazy sweeper. Ooh. I mean, I don't have much more than this, I think. Like, I got another sure. Clash card. <laughs> oh, you hush. <laughs> we battling. Oh, bottom. Hey! You lost the Clash, at least. Oh. What did you reveal? A land as well. Oh. What? You're the Monarch? When did that happen? Yeah. When my commander enters the battlefield. Oh, boo. I always hold the cards, Tomer. Boo. Don't like that. All right. Um, let us bruise, bruise it up. I'll volley it. The small creatures are going in for the attack. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's attack. Works for me. I uh, don't. Oh, there's. Uh, yeah. Just. I mean. Darkness. Not darkness again. Oh, it's wow. actually nighttime. And at nighttime, you can't do public executions. 
That's how the game works, Tomer. Gosh. You got me. I hope I actually got you. I'm not sure it did. Uh, I, <laughs> I, won, I wanted to do the combat. <laughs> you got me on the combat. Okay, good. That was the idea. All right. Sanctuary. Yeah, I think that's it. Can you end it this turn, Tom? I don't think so, but uh, we'll find out together. Oh, that Kalsi is Blood Chief again. I can't cast. All right. Can't. Oh, not casting that this turn. Oh, oh that's, <laughs> that's big. Ooh. Tyson. Yes, you do kill him. I mean, he has... He has to take five on his upkeep. Four possible non-end cards that could prevent this from happening. I'm not feeling too great about it. Guess there's no downside in sending in the whole team that I can see. Unless he has overrun Let's... and somehow doesn't die. Ooh, kind of fancy. And another Street Fighter card. Gonna swift kick that Platinum Angel. Hiya. And then we'll trade. So I didn't think it was going to be relevant that I played this card post combat because I was trying to dodge a counter spell. So we'll castle Fury Vortex now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Should have cast a pre combat. I didn't think you were going to play. I feel like that's prepared gonna... a fight. Yeah, that's going to be an issue for me. Possibly. Yeah. Let me just. You yeah. have. Three. Yeah. Another fight card, but it's a modal one. <laughs> Just exile top card of my library and pass. I need to draw a card. Aha! Well, let me do this first. I could just get the best ever. No, that's not good enough. Put it bottom. I mean, there's an omniscience in play. I don't I don't think my deck could beat omniscience. Well, I wonder if I have something good enough to No, uh, I don't. <laughs> but I got the ants play. <laughs> you need something big to win, right? On top of your deck. Oh uh... No. <laughs> Oh, uh, in Legacy, you stack an Emrakul on yeah, top of your deck. Yeah, you stack an and then, I, just, yeah. I just threw it in. <laughs> uh, uh, it would have been sweet yeah, if it just worked. That is the only reason why that was in there, but whatever. Kaboom. Let's put it on you. And... Yeah, I think we just keep attacking. Yeah, having the teamer charm for the Sulfira Vortex changes entirely how this whole game plays. Yeah, I, I think I needed the life to race. Because if you don't have that, I think I can win. But now it's you just outpace me with the life. But we'll see how the rest of this game plays. But I hope I can get there. Hmm. Would you like to sacrifice one of your creatures to retain the monarchy? Yes. All right. I'm really greedy. Prevent. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, wow. blazing arcan. Okay. That's a good one. Oh my goodness. 
Stop it. Stop turtling. Uh, nope. <laughs> Wait, you drew a card? Yeah, when Protector of the Crown comes into play, oh, everyone remembers I'm the mayor. But I, Makes it real easy. But I, I worked so hard on that. Um, let us... Huh. Quickly running out of ways to kill your stuff. Which is definitely an issue. Mm. I guess we got a parlay. Sacrifice and Hmm. I'm playing Kazool Tyron Cliffs, and this is actually my Akuma. Because in, in the Japanese word for Akuma was actually Guki, which is Great Demon or Great Ogre, and he's an ogre and the greatest ogre. Um that didn't help. Land play. Domri Raid. Gonna just hope there's something up there. Nope. I'm gonna cast this. I can tap it to kill <sighs> and then fight some more. There's a lot of fighting happening. All right. Woo. Oh, monocolored. Okay. It's not as bad. Okay, Tomer, stop drawing cards. <laughs> Only if you stop drawing cards. Mr. Uh, Card no. over here. I know. Well, I have to actually pay for my spells. Ah. Hey, I did have to pay. I had to pay 10. Just one down payment. All right, I'll sacrifice my monocolored. Mm. Ugh. So do you like Street Fighter more or Marvel vs. Capcom more? Uh, I've always been a Street Fighter person. Street Fighter 2, mostly. And also the Alpha series. Wait, isn't Street Fighter just strictly better? Why is that? I don't think you could say strictly better. I'm sure there's some <laughs> people who like it more. 
Uh, I, I just... Everyone I knew was Street Fighter players. More, I mean, some people played both, but I always just... I don't know. In my head, always considered Street Fighter the superior game. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom is so much fun. Like, so much fun. I loved that game. Love that game. It's just a blast. I mean, both are obviously worse than Worms Armageddon, but that's neither ah. here nor there. <laughs> I can't believe this game is still going. Neither can I. Neither. <laughs> this is... Uh, just it's the stupid Bruce Taro. Hello. I love this card so much. It gains so much dumb life. I know. If Tomer didn't like have Teamer <laughs> Charm, he'd be dead a year ago. <laughs> Good old Bruce Tarl. Just tarling it up. All right. Hey, let's let's it's vote gonna, for some cards, Tomer. It's gonna ring. <laughs> Who are you voting vote for? On? Something. Uh, I have to check the the chat. I voted for Teamer Ascendancy because it's the correct call. Aww. Card's I dumb. So. Well, I guess I'll vote on it. Ugh. Stop drawing so many cards. Ugh. Oh. We talk about this card on the podcast a lot, and no one ever remembers the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin Spy Master. I gotta remember that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Did I speak too soon about it? it's not so bad? Oh my goodness. Stop pillow fording. No, you stop now. <laughs> also, yeah, I messed this up. I should have never cast Spy Master when I have an animal on the ruin stage out. I think I can stack the triggers, though. Oh, that would make me sad. Stop trying cards. Oh, this stupid card. Oh my god. Oh, I love this card so much. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm so excited. Oh, I forgot I put fun cards in this deck. Oh, you hush. All your spells are free. I don't have spells to cast. What does it matter if they're free? Oh, yeah, you do a land, too. Yep. Oh, I should have popped this, whatever. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sacrificing a spy master for sure during my upkeep. This card is awful in this situation. <laughs> I guess I'm attacking. Not with that Bruce Tall, you're not. Oh. You stop that right now. They got me. Just for a heads up. There's a card in... Not a card. There's a role in Town of Salem where basically you get to prevent what someone does every turn and thus Sentinel of the Eternal Watch. Yeah, I feel like I really don't want this... Nah, I do want this by Master to exist. Is it just two damage? All right. I'll block with the N1. You got me. Show me your Dramokos command I know exists. There it is. And then choose target creature you control. Uh, sure. Okay. All right, it's you and me, baby. All right, Sentinel. Oh, Tomer's recasting Kaidel, but... Yep. Something else? Are you cracking Verge? Yep. <laughs> All right. So now uh, you've seen more cards than I have. I'd like to put it out there. I know, but you keep. I keep seeing lands. That's okay. It's dumb. Don't like this dumb... I don't think I can close out this game. You're just your deck is just a hundred percent turtle. It's like card draw. I have a lot of the Ooh, okay. This will be could be decent.
I don't think this is going to work like I want it to. So instead, just going to cast our commander. I would have been so happy if you just killed the Omniscience instead of the Teamer Ascendancy. That would be great. No, 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 no. Yeah, Wait, no. you don't want me to cast my lands for free? Yeah, no, there's... Hey, look, I'm the Monarch. Hey, hey, good job, me. Ugh. Monarch. I actually don't need to do this in already as haste, naturally. Good job, Marchesa. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, you will. Mm -hmm. All right. Draw a card at the end of turn because I'm the monarch. Don't get hit mm -hmm. by impatience because I have to spell this turn. Oh, oh, great! Yes, I wanted that card badly. Mm. Hey, look! Oh, you drew an onland. What'd you draw? Edric. Oh, that's a real card. Okay. That's not Gonna do anything. Oh my goodness, you got Avison? Oh my goodness. I got what? So much no, 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 that's exiled a long ago. Oh. Yeah, no. I got a uh, Scrubland. Right. <laughs> I got much different than Avison. That's actually that's more manageable. <laughs> no problem. It's a lot more manageable. Um. Yeah, you don't have to actually pay mana for that guy. Just is the field. Oh yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> no right. problem. Um, boom. Welcome to the battlefield, Edric. You're not welcome here. Please go away. Boom. Oh, there's a pop. Let's uh stop that madness real quick. Hmm. Well, that was a lovely turn. I know, right? Ugh. Such a slow death. Where are your aggro cards? This is not a Tom deck. It's a Town of Salem deck. It's not a Tom deck. All right, time for some blackmail. Oh, it's just a forest. That goes me. away. You got my forest. <laughs> got him. We got him, coach. All right. I guess I can use this card. I can use this Gyre Reach Sanitarium now because you're just going to loot something that doesn't matter and I'll throw away a Dragon Skulls on it. That was the worst thing I could loot. I actually would have won the game. What? My Hadouken. My oh, Hadouken. oh my god, yes! Wow. <laughs> you got my Hadouken. Oh boy. Alright, well let's keep making some choices together. That was unfortunate. All right. Just have to keep beating the two things you draw each turn. <laughs> That's the goal at this point. I'm checking my checking my deck list to see if there's anything I can do to get out. And if not, I will concede. I mean, I was really hoping for that fireball. I would that think actually so. just would have won me. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else. Unless you accidentally cast it for free with omniscience. Well, if I have Recursion... Uh, I think you already cast for cap across the paths. Yeah, I'm looking if I have anything else. Mm hmm I will be hey. choosing <laughs> Chantments with World Queller, that's for sure. <laughs> you got my omniscience. You got it. Ah, good job, me. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think I have any more Recursion in the deck, so I think I'm going to just wrap it up. That's all right, For the sake of the viewers, I got a got a Thassa that I'm going to hard cast. Okay, that's, that's not going to do anything. I'm going to draw another card, which is an Isabella I gotta... works. And all right. I think I think that's GG. Okay, okay. Good game. Good game, sir.
<laughs> All right. Wow. It's, it's fun Jeez. being here. <laughs> that, was, that was very grindy, but you got it. It was, I was gonna... so grindy. <laughs> Do you have an answer to the Hadouken? Uh, to, uh, no, not in hand. Oh, oh gosh. My, my fireball would have just liquidated my face. Well, that was a good play for the loot. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm looking at my my library or my deck list, and I don't have any other ways of interacting with my graveyard other than that one card. So, realistically, I don't think there was anything I could do to get through that. That was crazy. Um, well, the game is pretty long. Um, I'm seeing that it's about, <laughs> about the two hour and a half mark. Um, so, does anybody have any closing thoughts on their deck any noteworthy cards we saw most of each other's deck that's why i'm not going to go like from person to person and have a long spiel but uh, i kind of wanted to point out my uh chess pieces because mm -hmm. yeah. you guys didn't see them all uh so obviously the queen is una queen of the fey my king i had king makar the gold cursed which actually went very well with the theme of my deck anyway even though he was the only blue or black king mm-hmm uh, for the bishops, you saw, or maybe you didn't see, um, I have Vizier of the Tumbling Sands, so I went with Clerics for the bishop. It was the best I could do. Um, so Vizier, and Vizier of Many Faces. For the knights, I had uh, Glenalandra Liege, which is a fairy knight. And you guys saw uh, Order, yeah, Order of Yogmoth was a knight. And then my rooks, you saw... Uh, mobile Fort, but I also had Mobile Garrison. And then I did yeah. run Pawn of Ulamog, because it was, like, I couldn't not run Pawn of Ulamog. That is pretty Even perfect. though all the fairies from Una are the pawns. Wow, that's nice. So you got, oh. you got, basically, you got every single piece, right? Yep. Awesome. I had the number, I, get, I made sure I had the number of them that were on the chessboard. Sweet. Uh, I think I think you got to see pretty much what my deck was doing. You got to see a lot of the uh, Worms Armageddon references. So that was basically it. There were Armagens in my deck. I was planning on getting my lands back from the graveyard was what I was hoping for with stuff like Ramanamp Excavator. So instead of going on the... On the mana rock plan, primarily, and I did have some mana rocks. I was kind of on the traditional ramp plan with the hope that I'd be able to uh, get rid of everyone's lands and then get my lands back from the graveyard. So overall, I think the deck was fun. Worm Tribal, though, has a one big problem that they literally start at five mana and the good ones are like seven to eight mana. So it's just a really expensive tribe, even with a lot of ramp and it's in colors without a lot of interaction. So I don't know. It's fun. And I think it was fairly on flavor for Worms Armageddon, but as far as level of competition, kind of bottom of the pack, I was really hoping to play Sandworm Convergence because I've always wanted to play that card in commander and I haven't got a chance. So it was in my deck, but I never drew it. Um, Tom, did you have anything else noteworthy that you want to showcase? Uh, I think I mentioned it before, but the best, the most flavorful card in this deck is actually Public Execution, which is half of the entire point of the game, and I was just so happy to remember this card existed. Uh, and then besides that, the card I had drawn was Risky Move, uh, which I realized if I had cast that would have just immediately lost me the game. So I didn't, because I'm a spike at heart. But uh, there's a lot of really fun cards in this deck, and I was really, really impressed by Price of Knowledge. That card did so much damage. Like, yeah, it seems benign. 60-ish damage. It just really ticks up. Yeah, that was awesome. So yeah, I mean, I, I enjoyed the deck. It did what it was supposed to do, and it was still had the flavor I wanted it to have, so made me happy. I'm glad that I was able to be the mayor throughout most of the game. <laughs> Yeah, that was sweet with uh, the queen keeping the monarch as the mayor. I liked it. <laughs> uh, I think my deck was really cool, too. It's Street Fighter is a weird theme, but I thought it worked out really well. It was mostly a fight deck and a clash deck. Fight taking care of like the creature side and clash taking care of the mostly the instance and sorcery side, and I thought both were very flavorful. Um, for the fight mechanic, you saw the fight lore, the one that gives you plus one, plus one counters each time a creature fights. And then another uh, another one, the Grill Rage Beast, that makes all your creatures fight when they're into the battlefield. And I combined it with 
cards that negated um, damage on my part. So I had Vigor. Whenever uh, damage would be dealt to my creatures, you, I would instead uh, negate that damage and put that many plus one plus one counters on it. And I also have Rude Tail Kitsune Ascendant, which basically is an enchantment that says your creatures can't take damage. So I had ways of negating the downside of fighting. Um, you got to see Dalzim. You got to see uh, Zangief. Um, I had the Dragon Style Twins for Ryu and Ken. I had pretty much all of the main Street Fighter 2 cast in here. Chun-Li was um, the flying crane technique for a spinning bird kick. So I thought it was super flavorful. Um, pretty functional. Not a great deck, but, you know, a fun deck. Um, and I liked how it turned out. So this was a cool week. We got to see a lot of people being very creative with their decks. And a lot of jank was flowing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And... I guess that wraps it up. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up with the latest and greatest, click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to check out similar videos, click on the links here and here.